da, da, da. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I think of when I see this map now. I dread this map. Every time I see it now. Um, today... We're actually... This is going to be a really big job and I'm not looking forward to it. Um, so please leave me like a nice comment or something. Um, it'll take the edge off. What we're doing is we're actually going to redo every single texture um, in this level. I've been working on a side map. Uh, I'll show you it actually. Because uh, I, I feel like it would be informative. Yeah, I'll show you it. Um, basically, I've been working on this side map and it's using textures from a resource called Otex. And I found out the reason why I'm struggling so much with this map is because I don't have access to actually good textures. <laughs> you know, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not James Paddock. I can't... I can't make... make gold out of shit. So I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna actually work with my strengths and download like a really... You know, a, a texture set that's already really good. Um, and all I've got to do is kind of put the pieces together. So, Otex is really good. It's um, it's 3,052 3, textures compared to the 428 that you get in Doom 2. As you can see from this repository, uh, there's a lot <laughs> of textures. Um, and I believe they are more or less kind of effectively tagged. Um, so we can use like one of these cool big doors um, yeah, I'll use like this. Look how much better, just just how much better these door textures look. Look at that. Um, this does mean that we're going to have to actually play around with the design of the level in general. Because um, everything's going to be kind of a little bit the wrong height and the wrong shape. But, you know, that's not so bad. We're actually going to be okay with that. Um, you know, in the end, in the long term, it's going to look better. So I think brick is, yeah, there we go, BRCK. So the way that you actually search through these textures is a bit, takes a bit of getting used to. But it's because it's like, they use like four letter acronyms. Like flats do, I think. So like, you can, mm, you can get some interesting results. The problem is, is that there, there aren't straight definitive analogs for each. So we're going to have to do some reinterpreting of this level which is which is good I, i've been wanting to do that i've been wanting to reinterpret this level a bit kind of understand it in a different way maybe look at it in a different in a different light and hopefully uh that's what we'll achieve today uh being uh being hopeful so i think this starting area we're actually going to make it smaller. Yeah, we're going to, like, s silly stuff like this, we're going to redo it because I don't like it. Um, I've never been happy with the way that that door starts out. So I think we're going to make it, make the inset a bit bigger. See, some of the things I did with this level, I made, I made it quite, like, um, <laughs> how do you put it? Uh, unnecessarily complicated for my own, um, workflow. It becomes quite a small room. And I did I have just now realized <laughs> that we don't actually have four player starts in here which is not good you should always accommodate for multiple players right so we're gonna simplify the grid down then uh, 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 there we go so it should be one two three four yeah then we're gonna put them about here and then I think what we're gonna do is just kind of crunch them together just a little bit just a little bit you don't want to crunch them together too much because you don't if if a play if like player one goes AFK in a multiplayer session you, you don't want the player four getting stuck so they can't move so I think that's us Sorted. I do want these to uh, kind of comply with the grid, though. It makes it easier to, to tile the textures. So, there we go. Do it again for this one. There we go. Boom. So now we have actually we can we can start make it. So so before this this 
area with the window, it was all the same texture. Like the inside, the outside, the windowsill, all of it was the same texture. And now we can go through and go, okay, right, well, let's have a look through these textures. Let's try and find something made out of stone, like a good stone divider texture. There's some great dividers in this. Obviously, it does take fucking ages to find them. <laughs> you know, you, you have to manually sort through 3,000 odd textures just to get the one you want. But once you found it... Hmm... No, that's not quite, not quite what I'm looking for. It almost is. Actually, it could be. Oh, you know, what? I'll, I'll use that for now, and we can come back and redo it later if we don't like it. What we want, though, is we want to just like have some more variety because I think the thing that this level was lacking was a bit of variety, while still keeping thematic consistency, which was something that I'm I was finding that I couldn't really do <laughs> with the Doom 2 textures because they're just so they're so samey and so restrictive that it's hard to find bits that you'd like. I think I might actually make the interior out of wood and the exterior out of stone and then that helps to define what part of it's supposed to be inside, what part's supposed to be outside, you know? So I think I'm gonna... It's just wood. Oh, wood. Oh, no, no. It... Yeah, you can go, oh, wood. And then that only loads Otex ones. Like this. Okay. Um... What's a good looping wood texture? Oh, right. By the way, this is, this is really interesting. Um, I found out how to, uh how to have textures still tile properly on diagonal surfaces. Um, I think I messed up explaining that a little bit, but I'll show you in a bit and you'll see that what I mean. Um, I'm really happy about this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm excited to show you what I've learned. Um, I learned it from Ariance, not Ariance. Ariance, who's Ariance? Ariance is the fucking guy, no, oh no, no, that's the... That, anime artist guy. Um, I learned it from... Oh god, what's her name? She's a, she's the, 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 the brain behind uh, Back to Saturn X. I can't remember her name right now. Anyway, she's a really, really good mapper and uh, she did like a really good forum post about how to get your textures right. <laughs> and uh, really great piece of advice that she gave was that if you need a texture to loop and it do it doesn't it's not you know you're on a diagonal wall and you can't loop it right um the way that you fix that is you split the diagonal wall into segments and uh and do it that way uh, i'll show you later what i mean by that just notice <laughs> when i save this map now it takes fucking ages and it's because it's um it has to repackage all 3,000 of these textures again. Um, I can't just like load the textures one at a time either because, um, you know, I don't know which ones I need yet <laughs> because I, I still don't have a perfect knowledge of the, this repository. So I don't fully know what te the textures are, how to use them, uh, what situations they're best applied to, you know, you know what I mean. It's tricky. Tricky the way it is right now. Right. Now, what I meant about that texture thing is this. Now, this is going to blow your mind if you're a newbie to do mapping like me. Just going to add these tech, these breaks on the textures. Then, it's tricky getting it right the first time. And sometimes you don't... They don't let you have it for free, if you know what I mean. Sometimes you have to fight a little bit for this, these texts just to line up. I'm like, this isn't quite the right length, but if we do this, hang on. See, we almost have something there. If we just shift them across. <laughs> this is kind of how it goes. You do kind of... This is what I meant. You do kind of have to wrestle with, with the textures a little bit to get them to cooperate. That kind of works. Almost. I think we need to shift it again. 
Boom. And then we have some in there. So we do that again on this side. Now, if you was going to look at this, these textures, this one here and this one here, let me light it up for you so you can see better. Would you say from a first glance as a, you know, if you was just looking at this level, would you say that that texture had been definitely objectively crushed down into a smaller one? Hopefully not, and that's what I'm going for. So, um, I'm actually gonna. I think we're actually just gonna make this level brighter in general, because um, it's quite. A, it's a dark level. It is a dark level, and I. I don't think I really comprehended that in the moment while I was making it. But this level is a bit too dark, <laughs> and I think I was just using it to kind of try and mask the lack of atmosphere that Doom 2's textures naturally have. So that looks a lot better. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? That looks a lot better than what it used to be. Now, the uh, awkward, tricky subject of uh, this bit. Now, I need a metal texture that will line that out. I think what I actually want, I, I just typed in iron. I don't think that's what I want. I do actually think I want an OBK. Yeah, maybe like OBK MTD, one of these. Lava, there's anything you want. Lava, what, piss, whatever that is. Um, pur purple drank, purple nurple. So let's just have another look at that first room now with these new textures and you can see how much of a difference it makes with these cool, you know, better new textures. Check it out. Look at this, man. It's still not quite finished for me. This isn't a stage where I would say that I'm happy with this, but look how much cooler this looks. You know what I mean? This is why I love Otex. I always like, if I'm playing a map pack and um, the textures are like Otex, I'm already like, I already like this. Outside looks good as well, look at that. Look how smooth, look how smooth that looks. Otex is so fucking good. I love Otex. Yeah, this is what I needed to make me enjoy making this map again. Right. Yeah, and look at this. Duh, look at this fire texture. Yeah, um, I, what I'll do is um, I'll do a lot of the texture replacement, like, off video. And then I'll make another video, like, showing you, like, after I'm finished. Um, but I'll go back and redo a bunch of this. Um, and I'll show you, like, what I've done after that. But what I'd like to do for now is I would like to show you the map I've been working on while I wasn't working on Gertrude, this map. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been working on a kind of side hustle map. I'll show you it. Hang on. As you can see, it's really, really early stages right now. Yeah, as you can see, this map is really early stages at the minute. It's kind of lacking a lot of detail and like fleshed out bits that I'd rather have, but... You can see why I enjoy using Otex, because I can have so many cool little details. Um, there's so much more creativity you can have. Look at this. Yeah, look at this cool shit. Oh, this is an unfinished part. Don't mind this part. That's just a bit I haven't textured yet. Hang on, I'll show you outside. Outside's my favourite bit. You can kind of probably tell that this the decoration here is inspired by... Um, Alien trilogy and just the alien alien movies in general and Quake 2 a little bit. I definitely use Quake 2 as an inspiration. But look, got these like pumping mechanisms in these lava. For I, I I envision this as like a like a um like an industrial power facility on a volcanic planet. Um, so I had a lot of fun with that idea. It's like fences with these um, breaker boxes inside, conduits, whatever you want to call them. Got these like pipe motifs. Then, right outside is my favorite bit, look at this. So I, I had this idea that like, um, they tried to, like whatever company, like the UAC or whatever, 
try to terraform this planet to make working conditions better. So I added these like dead, dead ve vegetation that's kind of taken over. But it's kind of it's kind of died and it's just like hanging <laughs> instead of like you know growing properly. So that was my idea for like this. But I love working with Otex. Look how, look at the cool stuff you can make with Otex, man. Doesn't this look so great? But yeah, so hopefully um, Gertrude will get the same treatment and that map will look a lot better. But yeah. Anyway, um, so that's my what I've been, that's what I've been doing. Um, I have still been making Doom maps, so don't worry. Uh, and we'll be making we'll be making more with Gertrude soon. So please look forward to it. <laughs>